projectile motion has independent movement in two directions. Let's take a video of the projectile motion and do independent analysis of vertical and horizontal movement. The procedure for this experiment. Take a video of projectile motion at first. Then read and record the ball position from each frame of the video. Finally, calculate periodical velocity and make a graph. Materials are a ball, a smartphone, and a large scale. Make a large scale for measurement. Draw a line every 10 cm in the vertical and the horizontal directions on the paper. Use the weight to check the vertical direction and put this scale on the wall of the measurement press. Video shooting. One person throws the ball diagonally upward. Another person takes video by smartphone. The recorded video is played back frame by frame to read the ball position. Free software is available for this function. Let's make an Excel sheet for record, calculation, and graph. Each frame time is calculated by the number of the frames per second. The difference is the length from one frame to the next. The middle of time between the two frames is needed for the velocity and the time graph. The velocity between each frame is calculated from the difference and the time of the frame. Let's read and record the ball position from each frame of the video. Let's start by analyzing the horizontal movement. The position of the ball for each frame is read and recorded. Calculation and the graph can be done at the same time. Position and time graph. Velocity and time graph. Next, analyze the vertical movement. Position and the time graph. Velocity and time graph. Let's check the difference of the two movements with graph. The position changes in direct proportion in the horizontal direction, and it changes in the vertical direction with a quadratic curve. No force works in the horizontal direction. It moves at constant velocity. Gravity works in the vertical direction. The velocity changes at a constant rate. 